good people. So we are running errands. I am in the car on the way back home now. I went into Neiman to take back this makeup, which I didn't know that I apparently since COVID, you can't return makeup, um, but they let me do it. I had to go through 99 hoops just to get it done, but I got it done. Um, so yeah, I guess I haven't bought makeup from there in a while. Anyways, I also went into Chanel, as you can see, because I was looking for the loafers because I wanted to try them on. But, of course, they didn't have my size. So, um, I talked to my advisor, and he told me to just send him a list of the things that I would be interested in or would want. And he will look, look out for them for me. I know they have another collection that's going to be coming out this month. So, hopefully, they get some more loafers because, okay, wait, it's super dark. Okay, yeah, so back to what I was saying. I tried on the loafers in a 40 and a half, which is clearly not my size, but it was the only size they had. And I wanted to see like what the sizing was like and how they look on my foot. And I really, really liked them. Um, I was imagining wearing them with um, jeans, kind of like with, with, with the outfit that I have on now. And I just love the way that that looked. So um, I'm going to have him look out for my size i'm thinking i would need a i know that i would need a 39 i would need my true size in this particular one so hopefully they get some more in the black so that i can get them he did mention that they're probably going to um be a style that they continue to like re release or um, you know release with collections so I should have a chance at getting them and I really cannot wait so I know that they're like trending now but it's like they're a classic style shoe like loafers like you can't go wrong with them and I know that I will wear them forever and ever so that's what we done hi uh oh we're not gonna buy that Okay, so I am getting ready to do my nails. Well, yeah, something like that. I'm gonna use these Kiss, um, like they're not press on nails. I don't know, what do you call these? The ones you glue on, <laughs> equivalent to the press ons. Um, yeah, so I'm, I need to film, but I need to do my nails because I need to like film some close up kind of shots. So, I want to do my nails, but I don't feel like doing them with the glue and the UV light and the, I don't feel like doing the gel X, whatever they're called. Um, and I got another PR package from Kiss, which I absolutely love when they send me packages because I'm like, oh my goodness, I was needing some new stuff. So I got lashes and nails. I'll try to show them to you guys, but I kind of already stored them away. But this was one of the ones that I got in this um package and they are i don't know what color but it's like a burgundy deep wine red color and like a coffin medium length nail which is my favorite like this is my go-to color for the fall winter time and just like in general like i love this deep wine color and then i love a coffin shape medium length my vibe totally my vibe i'm gonna go ahead and put these on so that i can like film um, my cousin and i are taking our daughters to see disney on ice <gasps> so excited i've always wanted to go to see disney on ice and now that i have a daughter or a child i have a really reason to like just go because i have to take the baby so it's gonna be me my cousin ashley my cousin's bringing her daughter her daughter and Kari are the same age. They're just, what, two months apart? She's in September. Kari's in July. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see baby Ryan. I think you guys saw her first birthday, like, in a vlog back in September sometime. But I'm hoping that Kari behaves. Like, we've never been anywhere where she has to, like, sit down and watch something for a period of time. So I am kind of nervous about how she's going to, like, act in that type of environment. Um... 
So we'll see. Hopefully it's entertaining enough that she's like glued to it. Because as long as it's entertaining, there's some music playing. She's all she's all in. She's focused. So very excited about that. And that's another reason why I needed to do my nails because I don't want this. I don't want to look like this. So yeah, she don't worry. I'm just gonna like file them a little bit because this is like what I usually do anyway. I did just take some nails off, so I wanted to give my nails a little break from having anything on them. Uh, so that's just what I'm, let me just go ahead and file them down. So have I opened this? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so here are the nails. Okay, one hand is done. Okay. I got glue on the nail, but like I said, I usually can wash my hands and it'll come off. Okay, and then now we put the last nail on. And put a dot on here. So this is what we have. I love this color. I cannot say it enough. Like, it looks so cute. So cute, so cute. So we're dressed and getting ready to go. Um, we're actually pretty early, but like I said, I need to film. So I wanted to go ahead and get dressed for the day. That way I don't have to like come home or what the heck is going on? <laughs> that way I don't have to come back home and try to get dressed. So I got me and Kari fully dressed and she looks so cute. So it was just by coincidence, like the outfit that I had for her to wear. Let me just show it to y'all. Hi Munchkin. Look at her little outfit. Why are you staring like that? Yeah. Y'all, yeah. she got on some faux leather pants. Who is she with this Mickey Mouse top, right? Say hi. Okay, let's go. So she got that Minnie Mouse like hoodie on, which matches perfectly because we're going to see Disney on ice. And I was like, what a coincidence, but it's like perfect. So I'm gonna take that. I don't know if it's gonna be cold there. So I'm gonna take her a blanket too, because it's like an ice rink or like they made it an ice rink because it's at the stadium. So I don't know if it's gonna be cold in there. So I wanted to make sure she was dressed warm. So I packed her, um, a jacket to go over her hoodie but that little hoodie is kind of thick and i don't know if i should take a blanket just in case so i might take her blanket um in case it's colder than what i thought it is cold outside it's like 48 50 degrees right now which is cold for us child <laughs> which i'm loving it i got on my i can wear my leather trench coat uh but anyway so it's uh cold outside so i don't know if it's going to be cold in the inside of the place and so i just want to be prepared but we'll see but let's just go so we're walking in to dead the eyes we had to walk because the tram never came to get us the one that did get that one that did call told us it wasn't coming here <laughs> so here we go out of breath carrying car walking in and cold Turn, but I found some jeans that I wanted to try on, so I wanted to show them to you guys. Let me try them on. These are the jeans. I actually like them, but they're kind of short. They're kind of short. I mean, perfect length if I'm wearing flats, but like, what is what they do if I'm down there? I want to see if they have them in the long version. But I really like these. They have a bit of stretch, but otherwise they're perfect. And they're high waist. Okay. Okay. Let's see. 
Okay, so we are back at home. Kari is sleeping. Hopefully she stays asleep. It is kind of early. It's almost nine. Um, so I'm just hoping she sleeps late, but I have an early morning because we got work to do tomorrow. So, um, I ordered some, okay, so I have some things that are going to be in a upcoming haul. And one of the items that I got and I was waiting on was this pair of boots that I got from Mango. So I wanted to show you guys them here so we can like vote and take a poll because they did not make the haul because I don't know if I'm going to keep them. So first of all, they came in this box. They came in this type of box, right? I was like, where's the shoe box? This is like a shipping box, not a shoe box. So I was already like, mm, I don't know what's up with that. So they're these boots, which I have been wanting for a little minute. And I feel like I wasn't sure if how I was gonna like them, how they were gonna fit, but they look so good, right? But the part I don't know about is the like calf width. I'm gonna try them on so you guys can see them. Like they feel like a decent, you know, quality shoe for the brand and price, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep them because of that calf width. Like if it's it's a little too fitted on the calf, and I'm gonna show them to you now so you guys can see. And I have on jeans, so I'm gonna try them on with the jeans to see if they even can slightly work. Because I'm wondering if I can have them stretched. <laughs> like I know it's a relatively, you know, affordable pair of shoes or inexpensive pair of shoes, but I'm like, you can stretch other shoes. This shouldn't be no different. And this is supposed to be like leather, so, and leather stretched. So I'm wondering if I could just like have them stretched. Um, but let me just try more. So y'all see how he kind of like gathers here? I don't like that. <laughs> but it does fit my cap even with the jeans on. As you guys can see. I just, I don't know. Something about this. But it's not bad. That didn't last long. Um, <laughs> now I can talk normal. So you guys see how the shoe like fits? I didn't quite, when I initially tried it on, it was way more slouchy in like the ankle-ish area because I'm assuming the issue there is because it's so fitted around my calf, there's extra space around that little ankle part or like where the instep kind of is. And that's what was giving a lot of room. But honestly, since I tried it on with these jeans this time, it didn't happen. So I, I honestly, I think I'm gonna keep them because I do like them. They're those riding boots that I've been wanting. And I actually really do like them. Like I really love them. <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna keep them. If anything, I will just wear them around the house or stretch them because I bought stretchers for the shoe. Um, I'm gonna see how to stretch the calf area on my own and I'm just gonna keep them. So yeah, I thought I was gonna take them back. Um, another item I got, well I didn't get this, this is actually been in my closet child, got tags on it and everything. A tweed blazer from Zara, similar to one that I've recently gotten. And I'm like, it still got tags on it and everything, child. Never been worn. Sitting in the closet. Can't even tell you when it was purchased. <laughs> like, and that's very rare because usually when I buy stuff, I go ahead and wear it because I've already come up with like a few different ways I can wear it because I like to come up with ideas of how I'm going to wear some before I buy it typically. So this item must have been purchased like during the transition season um, and then I was it was probably going into spring and there was no use for me or way for me to wear it comfortably here with the weather here so anyway i'm gonna show that to you guys one second this is the blazer child super cute 
I love it. It has like the buttons on it are like that crystal detail. And the sleeves have removable cuffs. So those little white cuffs you see can be removed. Um, like I said, still got the tags on it. I am going to actually look this uh, style co up and see if it's still available. I think that was it. So I'm going to try to put her back to sleep because she's playing with my ears, which means she's actually sleeping. <laughs> and that's going to be that. So I will see you guys in a little bit.